Is it really possible for a tiny tweak to your morning coffee routine to ignite your metabolism and put your body into full fat burning mode for the rest of the day? Check out the link in the video description now and transform your morning coffee into a metabolism boosting super drink. The former partner of a Sydney businessman who died in a boating accident has launched a lawsuit over his $20 million estate. Andrew Findlay's body was found washed up on rocks near the gap at Watson's Bay, in the city's eastern suburbs, a week after he went missing on July 27, 2023. Police believe the 51-year-old and his art dealer friend, Tim Klingender, were not wearing life jackets when a freak wave hit their 7.8-meter brig inflatable vessel during a fishing expedition. The men died when the vessel smashed against rocks. Now, his podiatrist ex-partner Liz Kemp has launched a civil case in the NSW Supreme Court to have his 2015 will, which names her as the sole executor and beneficiary recognized by the court. The couple have three children together and separated in 2019. The separation resulted in a property settlement in 2021, after which Ms. Kemp bought a $4.2 million home in Balgola. Mr. Findlay walked away from the settlement with a mid-century designer property called Camelot in Centennial Park, which was last purchased for $4 million in 2012, but is now worth about $20 million. His family will argue that Mr. Findlay prepared an informal will in 2019, which named his children as the beneficiaries of his estate but was not signed or witnessed, according to the Sydney Morning Herald. That document named the businessman's cousin David Findlay as the executor and trustee of the estate until his children turn 18. He is the defendant in the Ms. Kemp's matter. According to the publication, Mr. Findlay emailed his cousin on June 5, 2019, saying, This is my new will. I am yet to get it signed in front of, lawyer, Emma Grimes, but I intend, to, dot. I just sent you the will as I haven't changed it with my lawyer yet. If I went under a bus between now and then my wishes would at least be clear. Mr. Findlay's family alleged that, a week after sending that email, he told his solicitor he had recently changed his will. Ms. Kemp's lawyers say he knew the execution requirements of a will and he did not execute the informal 2019 will, despite regularly consulting lawyers. Ms. Kemp was married to Australian cricket legend Brett Lee, with whom she shares one son. When he died, Mr. Findlay was in a relationship with clothing shop owner Lakshi Palai. On his birthday in August last year, she wrote on social media, Happy birthday to the best. Miss you so deeply. Mr. Findlay and Mr. Klingender had gone fishing around 7.30 a.m. on July 20, 2023, when their boat was smashed into rocks by 5-meter waves. Mr. Klingender was only wearing socks when his body was uncovered among debris scattered among the rocks below Jacob's Ladder at South Head. Dangerous conditions over that weekend prevented police from recovering evidence from the vessel, and the search for Mr. Findlay was scaled back on the presumption that he was dead. His body was found almost a week later.